Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna get straight into it. We're gonna be installing this hair from Dola Hair. They sent me this ginger wig that is 20 inches. I already went ahead and put foundation on my cap. This is what the wig is looking like. I already went ahead and washed, blow dried, conditioned the hair and bleached the knots and plucked it as well. I have a video that I'll link down below on how I pluck and bleach my frontals and closures. But so far, this is what the wig is looking like. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight into installing it. First things first, we're gonna take our foundation and put it on the lace, of course, because we want it to blend. We don't want the lace to look white. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the foundation on the lace. So this is what the inside is looking like. I really, they have these combs on the inside, but I really don't understand the purpose of them because nobody really ever uses them. Then it has like this elastic band strap and a comb at the bottom and these straps down at the bottom too for extra security. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on with the strap. Yeah, this wig is tight. Oop, that was a little bit too forward. Okay, so one thing that I can already notice. Okay, okay one thing already. This wig is a bit small. So the hair. Um, we're gonna have to fix that. So I'm just gonna take the strap off that I put on in the back and see if that helps. Um, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off first because personally, that's what I like to do. Some people like to cut it off afterwards or after they glue it down, but I like to do it beforehand. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm just um, hot combing everything back so that I can see everything. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off. The wig is a little bit close on my forehead, so I might just pluck a little bit up here. I mean, not pluck, I'm gonna cut a little bit of the hairline off because I don't want it this close to my forehead, to be honest. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut like right here. Yeah, I think that's a little bit, yeah, that's a little bit better, but now I have to go back in and probably pluck some, I don't know, we're, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what's, what's working, I don't know. So yeah, now that we cut it, hold on. I don't know if I wanna do a middle part or a side part to be honest. So I'm just seeing which one I wanna do. I can't remember if this is a 13 by four or a 13 by six, but it looks like a 13 by four because I really don't have much space to part to be honest. So yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna do, sorry. <laughs> We're just gonna do a middle part and just keep it simple because yeah, I don't feel like dealing with that. 
Alright, so we're gonna do a little part. Now we're just gonna go ahead and glue it down. We're gonna take it got to be instant hold and we're going to just glue down the perimeter and the front and yeah. So we're done blow drying, but I'm just going to add a little bit more makeup to my edges. Honestly, yeah, we're just going to add a little bit more makeup to the edges to make sure that they blend. Now, I know it's looking a little crazy right now, but I'm going to now go ahead and hot comb and flat iron the hair. Might even add some wand curls to it because yeah, right now it's getting a little crazy. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then once I'm done, I'll come back and show you guys what it is looking like. Okay, so you guys, I am done curling the hair. I decided to go with a wand curl. I just used my regular old Conier um, wand curl that I've had for like ages to curl my hair. To be honest, this hair is really, really soft. My only con is that the hair bleeds. I don't know if you guys can tell or like see, but my hands are like literally it looked like I just got finished eating Cheetos. Like, my hands are literally orange. When I washed the hair, it bled orange literally everywhere. Like, my whole sink was filled with orange. I really didn't like that. I've had pre colored units before. It did not bleed that much. I don't know what was going on, but my sink was practically orange by the time I got done washing this hair. That's the only thing that I didn't like. And the fact that this wig was too small, not too small, but it was a little bit too small for my liking. Other than that, the wig was fine. I would give it a thumbs up besides those two things. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And see you guys in my next video.